I'd like to show you how to find square roots for numbers that are not perfect squares. I've written out the first nine digits here um, underneath radicals just to look at the order. So you'll see that within those first nine digits, three of them are perfect squares. One is a perfect square. Its square root is one because one times one is one. Four is a perfect square because two times two is four. And nine is a perfect square because three times three is nine. But what if I need um, the square root of two? Well, there is no whole number that I can multiply times itself that will give me two, which tells me that the best I can do is get a decimal. So I look at my numbers that are lined up here, and I notice that the square root of 2 is between the square root of 1 and the square root of 4. The answers to the square root of 1 and the square root of 4 are 1 and 2, which means my answer for the square root of 2 must be between these two numbers. And it looks to me like it's closer to 1 than it is to 2. So I'm going to choose a decimal that's closer to 1 than 2 and check. So guess and check. So I'm going to say 1.2 because 1.2 is closer to the number 1 than it is to the number 2. Well, how do I check? I take 1.2 and multiply it times itself and see how close to 2 I get. So 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2 placeholder, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1, add 4, 4, 1. I have two decimals in my problem, so I need two decimals in my answer, and I got 1.44. Well, that's not very close to 2, which means I need to take this number, 1.2, higher. So let's try um, 1.4. Four times four is 16. Four times one is four plus one is five. Placeholder. One times four is four. One times one is one. Add. Two decimals in my problem. I need two decimals in my answer. 1.96, which is really close to two. And that would make this an acceptable answer. You would say approximately, so you're going to use the squiggly equal signs, 1.4. Now, if I were to use the calculator, I would get a more precise answer um, out to a couple of more decimal places. And if I wanted to try and get closer myself, I could, but I would accept this as an answer. Now, if I were looking for, for example, the square root of 6, I would go back to this list of numbers that I have up here, and I can see that um, I can see that it is between the square root of six falls between the square root of four and the square root of nine. So its answer must be between the two answers for the square root of four and the square root of nine. So the square root of six's answer is going to be between two and three. And it looks like, if we split this up, this is about the middle, it looks like it's just barely closer to 2 than it is to 3. And if we thought of this as being really close to 2.5, I'm guessing it's going to be maybe um, 2.4. So I'm going to check 2.4 times 2.4. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Placeholder. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 2 is 4, and add. 9 plus 8 is 17, 5, 2 decimals in the problem, 2 decimals in the answer. So I'm a little high, okay, because I went over, or I'm sorry, I'm really, I'm a little low, because I was looking for the square root of 6. So I might try, because I know it's not going to be 2.5, I might try 2.45 and see if that works. A little bit more multiplication there. 
5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 2 is 22. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. Placeholder. I can get rid of my carries. Now I'm doing the 4. 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 2 is 18. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Two placeholders this time. Get rid of my carries. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9 and 2 times 2 is 4. And add 5, 2, 10, 20, 6. I have four decimal places up here. I need four down here and that's pretty darn close to 6. So I would say that the square root of 6 is approximately 2.45. That is how you approximate um, square roots that are not perfect squares without using a calculator.